everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. What did you do today? Well, I'll tell you what I did. <laughs> I guess it's about my day today. I got up, oh, we got up probably around 7.30, 8 o'clock, somewhere in there. We always have coffee in, in the morning, on the weekends. I always bring coffee up to Jim, and he has coffee, and I have coffee, and we sit and talk. And I asked him what he was going to do today, and he never ended up really doing what he thought he was going to do. He's been trying to figure out how to put a gutter on my chicken house because the way we had to slant the roof really wasn't the best way to slant the roof, but it was so that I could open the window in my laundry room. And if he would have slanted it the way he would have wanted to, I could have never opened the window. Not that I opened the window very much. I don't think I've opened it at all, to be honest. Maybe, well, maybe yeah, once. Yeah, have had it open a few times. But, um, so he's going to try to put some gutter on there, but he didn't do that. Then I watched um, a lot of videos. I watch, I always watch a few in the morning that I want to just watch. And you know what I noticed? The weekend is when I'm catching up on other people's videos because there's a lot of you that don't post on the weekend. So it's kind of like my chance to catch up. And so I was catching up. Then I went in and I started my comments and I was telling Jim that I probably should make myself a work schedule because it seems like I'm I'm there a long time so what I'm going to try to do and this is going to be tough for me to stick with it because I always see one more one more I'll just do one more I'll just do one more and keep going and the one more ends up two more and ends up half an hour 45 minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to work from eight in the morning or earlier if I get up earlier, which I've been getting up pretty early and work until three. So that would be my cutoff hour so that I work. So from three to the time that I make my video, which I try to make it around 630, but it's really almost seven now because I was watching uh, Bob from Mountain Crest Farms. He, he posted a video and I, I, you know, I've got all my bells clink clicked on a lot of people's channels and I don't get any I don't get any sound if I happen to be looking at the device at the time I will see the banner come up on my iPad but I don't get anything the only thing that bings at me is messenger and messenger is through Facebook and when Emily sends me a message I get that bing and I really wish she would just call me on the phone because a lot of times for me to type it is like, it's it just takes longer. And I, I would say a whole lot more if I was talking. And she probably figures that's what I would do. So she messages me. I um, After I did my videos, oh, what I've been doing too is I had told you that I watch anybody that comments. I watch their videos. So what I've, I've kind of changed my method a little. I still watch their video. But what I've been doing is I will click on them. And then I will check to see what their video is, if they have a new one or not. And if they, if I've caught up, if I'm behind, I might have to, if they're not too long, I'll, I'll watch three or four of them. And I'll do it in a row. But what I do is I click on it. It goes up into my upper part of my computer. And it sits there. And then I answer my comments. And then I go to the next person do the same thing. And then they, they slide up there if there's a video. And if there isn't a video, then I put it up. I close that window and then when I'm all done with my comments then I go back and I sit there and I, I listen and I watch I like the ones that I can listen you know why I like the ones that I listen because I like to do two things at one time I was watching Farmer Mima, which the other day and she was talking about attention deficit disorder she's got hyperactive and you know if the more things you're doing at a time the better off I feel and she does the same thing but we and we will be talking about something and all of a sudden we forget what the heck were we talking about I do that a lot you know but that's part of the attention deficit I think and I said to Jim you're gonna fall asleep <laughs> I said no actually yeah. I'm watching two escapees who's out silver and one of the black ones oh now I've now I've lost track. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. No, 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 no. I, I distracted myself. See, this is what it is. And then, like, I will get a cup of coffee, 
And a little while later, I'm doing, I'm taking laundry out of the thing, and Jim goes, you, you left your coffee here. And I go, well, you know, I happened to walk into the other room to get something, and I saw the laundry, and so I was distracted by that, and so that's what I will do instead. So I would go to that. Or I... Or the dog will want something, and I will go take care of the dog, and then I'll see something along the way, and I figure, well, I'll take care of that instead. And then I forget what the heck I was doing in the other room. I could get coffee. I could start making the pot of coffee. I might get the water in the, in the coffee pot, and I might get the coffee in the filter out, but I may have not put it in, and I may not have put it into the coffee maker to start it. And Jim will come along and he'll say, were you making coffee? And I go, oh yeah, that's right, I was making coffee. Well, I wanted to tell you, silver has also, you know, usually the mama birds, chickens, will stay with their babies for eight weeks. Silver only does it for like four weeks. She's already distancing herself from the babies. Good thing they've got a second mama, because the other mama is really frantic they get out of the fence and follow Silver sometimes, and she's at the fence pacing back and forth because she's a heavier bird. She can't fly over the fence. And sometimes when I go in and open the door, she'll come scooting out, and then she'll go with the with them. And then to come back in, I have to open the door so she can get back in because she can't fly over the fence like Silver can fly over the fence. Today, I was... um, I really didn't have anything to say today, <laughs> but boy, I have a lot to say, apparently. Today I was knitting and I said to Jim, I finished, well, I finished my scarf, but I didn't like it as, a, it's great as a scarf, but it wasn't going to work as a headband because I felt it was just too wide. So what did I do? Well, not I really do, long enough. And it, it was, it was almost long enough. It was just a tad short, I think. So what did I do? I took it apart. <laughs> and instead of having 15 stitches, now I've got seven. And I wound it up, so now it's it's in a ball. And so this, I think this is going to be way better because I like I like this a lot better. It it's the right it's the right um, width. I like this better, and it will make it a lot longer. And I will be able to tie it however I want to tie it. If I want to tie it in the back, or if I want to tie it up on top like I do the other one. And I also was watching. Um, I wrote her name down because I, I keep forgetting it. Mommy's Budget. She had bought, she does, um, buy, she buys things at Dollar Tree and Dollar General and stores. She buys things. Hey, you want to hold the bowl? Well, Mommy's Budget had showed that she bought an owl. And I put in the comment that I bought, I have an owl. And I was going to show her what I did with my owl. Her owl is just like this owl. And when I was going to the library, this, see it's in a picture frame that hangs. Oh, there's a, no, that's just, I was thinking there was a spider web. I'm seeing glares in my glasses. <laughs> Whoa, no spider webs. It's, it's dust free this time. <laughs> and so this is what um, I did with it. I put it in here. And it's sort of a, um, I leave this hanging all year round. It's really but they were doing Halloween things, and I kind of did a uh, fall theme instead, because the owl looked more like a fall. Fall. Fowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is fowl. <laughs> it's a bird. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a Superman. Um, <laughs> that's what came to my mind. <laughs> oh, good grief. Um, so I, I told her I would show her my owl. And what I did with it. I don't know what she'll do with her owl. Is that everything that I did after I watched Bob? Then I came in here. and Oh, I took Mr. Brown for a walk today. And instead of carrying him, I let him get down and he follows me. And then when I got to my building, my she shed, and I thought, oh, he went over to where he could actually go underneath. And I said, Mr. Brown. And he looked. And I says, come here. And he stopped, dud, turned, and was peep, 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 but he stayed still so I could pick him up. He didn't come. I'm going to try to get him to come when I go to come. Um, because when I do that with Jake, Jake will sit. If I say sit or in his house, I'll say, all right, in your house. And I go, 
and it goes in his house. Um, so it gives their it gets their attention, and I want Mr. Brown to to recognize that the little is something. It's like it's like when I've taught the um, rooster, the only time I'll give them their food and their snack is if he flies up onto the railing and crows. He crows a lot all day long, but the only time he gets that food is when he goes up there. And he goes up there twice. He just goes up there in the morning when he wants the food. And then he goes up in the afternoon between 2.30 and 4. He will go up there and he will crow and they will get the chicken scratch. The bearded lady, I'm sure you're all wondering how she's doing. Well, today when I gave her her food, she kind of went, uh, 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 and kind of backed off just a little, but she didn't move a lot. She didn't go hide in the box like she has been. And I, and I, when I gave her the chicken scratch, she just kind of went, ooh, ooh, a little bit, but she stayed put. She didn't even move. And then I gave her some grit because she has to have some grit too because I don't want her to have a problem with her crop. crop. She's eating and she's drinking. She's doing well. And Mr. Brown is sitting on the perch that we put in his little cage. I did go to the neighbors. They had some um, cages out because I was looking for something that might be tall so that when Mr. Brown gets big and he wants to sit in his cage, when I, well, he doesn't want to sit in his cage. When I want him in his cage, I want him to be able to perch on his perch and... I still haven't found anything that I liked. They had a, the cage there was it was tall enough, but it had a lot of dividers in it, and they weren't dividers that I could have removed. If it was dividers that I could have removed, it would have been a good cage, but it wasn't. So that is the video of today, my activity of today. So you get to you got to hear what my day was like. It was busy, and I I've been knitting. That's the only fun thing that I've been doing. And watching videos, I guess that's considered fun. Mm -hmm. And answering comments, that's fun. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. If these things were not fun, I wouldn't do it. So that's it. I will, I'm going to say goodbye now. So I hope you all had a great day. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>